Do you want me to? Thank you. <clears throat> It's a date today, huh? 30th. Saturday mm -hmm. the 30th of October. And this is the uh, third and last day of chemo? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I'm really happy once it's over. Eh? Yeah. Hmm. No, I've, done, I've done well so far. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. Mm hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm just. I'm just. Um, no, she's organising the medicine now, honey. Yeah. So she's, yeah. yeah. It's just her hand. That's it. That's all I can say. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's all good. <laughs> This morning, oh no, I'm gonna get through the next chemo. I'm feeling not too crash hot. Yeah, 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 but anyway, no, it's okay. Keep going to the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> washing it out. I went every hour from twelve o'clock at night. Every hour, oh, I really? just came out. Oh, it must be buggered. Yeah, it must be good if my kidneys must be working. Eh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good sign. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. um, same time, I've been surprised how well you've been considering. Intensity of the chemo. There you go. I'll be expecting you to throw up all the time. Mm. You've only had one little small chuckle. But I have been making sure I eat before I have my medic. Like I've been really proactive. I've had the biotin mouthwash, I've had the chewing gum. Like I've been pretty conscious. Yeah, yeah, doing all the yeah absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I just hope that people learn from this that, you know, because there is, at the moment, there is no cure for this particular disease. But you look at what they've been doing overseas and around Europe and around people like Professor Richard Burt. And they're at the forefront of leading um, the closest we've ever come to a cure for multiple sclerosis. So this is it. This is the treatment that you've given me to me. Yeah. 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 And um, yeah, I just want people. To learn from it, and I've really know girls my age, you know. Hmm. There you are. Hello, this is Carmel Taylor again. It's the thirty-first of October, two thousand and ten. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm having chemo. I've been mm. having chemo since Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today is Sunday. So um, basically, you just sit here and um, I use this time to go to sleep or email people. So um, this is your second last day of chemo? Second last day, and then just tomorrow morning, a little bit more chemo, and then I go straight into mm -hmm. the isolation. So I should be in each tomorrow. So yeah, so you're. Should be getting right down to around zero, and they're going to wait maybe seven to fourteen days for a spike. That's what they're looking for. So when my neutrophils start coming back up, that's what they're looking for. Um, the stem cell mm -hmm. transplantation on Wednesday, there'll start to be some um, some rising my wife's cell counts. So they're looking for that. They reckon it should take seven to fourteen days for that to occur. And um, yeah, just about finished the chemo, nearly, probably in the next few hours. Mm -hmm. So I'm just 
so all my bone marrow and immunity will be completely obliterated. Mm. Oh, she's awake. <laughs> so I soon had to go upstairs, so she just asked me to keep an eye on things. Oh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm really good. Like, um, how much longer do I have? There's a few more hours. Or... Yeah. About another hour and a half. Yeah, that's all right. It's enough time to get some gravy and chips and <laughs> eat. That's what that, I like to hear. That's it. That's all I care about. <laughs> See, I'm shocking. So probably another hour and a half. Wow. And then we're done. And then um, everything should be killed off and the new stem cell should be reinplanted on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So all is going good so far. So the second last day of chemo and your immunity, your bone marrow and all that is pretty much destroyed. Yeah, bone marrow and my immunity, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. How often were you sick? I can't be lucky. Mm -hmm. But I need something to get rid of that. Biotin, chewing gum, and to keep me on my ulcerated and mouthwash. Pretty good just for this. Mm -hmm. So those two things have kept my, my ulcers in the mouth or down my esophagus yep. to a month. And pretty much um, very religious on washing my hands. Yep. But you, you only threw up a little bit on day two of chemo. Yeah, I tried to throw up, but I didn't actually throw up. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so things has been okay. Yeah, just keeping things going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I put on weight. I'm 48.1 kilos. Well, you were 47. I was 44 and a half. You were 47 when your dad and I weighed you at the hospital. And it was the morning. So you probably had a morning stool sitting there. <laughs> hey, if they, if they weighed you an hour later, you would have suddenly lost a half a kilo. <laughs> Sorry for the imprecise, but, you know. I've nearly finished, I say it's pretty good. I'm still alive and I've finished, you know, nearly killed off my whole bone marrow, yeah. so I'm still here and I'm feeling okay, yeah. Yep. So why is the money getting that life insurance? I want my chips and gravy, please. I'm hungry. Okay, I'll go get that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I didn't get. Okay.